road tunnels. They're like the arteries of our mobile world. They connect countries, cut distances. But tunnels are also a source of anxiety for many motorists. The prospect of driving through long, narrow, dark tubes makes them uneasy, and their fear of accidents is not far-fetched. The devastating fires in the Tawan, Gotthard and Mont Blanc tunnels made it quite clear to political decision makers, the media and the transport community that tunnel safety had been perilously overlooked for years. Much has been done since and the work of Eurotap, the European Tunnel Assessment Programme, has contributed significantly to these improvements. Eurotap plays a double role. The first is to give us a methodology in order to assess how safe a tunnel is and what to do to make it safer. And the second role it plays is to raise driver's awareness about the importance of driving safely in tunnel and what to do when accidents happen. But black holes still exist on Europe's roads and obviously a lot still needs to be done if we want to achieve uniformly high safety standards everywhere. The Eurotap program started in 2005. Its objective for the next three years was to examine 150 tunnels across Europe systematically according to defined criteria necessary for satisfying minimum European safety standards. The program's purpose is to reveal deficits, trigger improvements and raise the safety awareness of those responsible. For the ADAC, for ADAC, Europe's largest automobile club, protecting consumers against unsafe products is a core concern. Naturally, the safety of motorists in the numerous European road tunnels is a very important aspect of consumer protection. This is the object of the highly committed European test program we are conducting with our partner clubs. Eurotap is being conducted by a European consortium of 12 automobile clubs from 11 nations. With the FIA in Brussels, they represent some 34 million motorists in Europe. Over the past three years, the Eurotap test crews have clocked up more than 125,000 kilometers, equivalent to three trips around the globe. And the bottom line after 152 inspections in 18 countries is that while there were many improvements, all is not as good as it should be. Every fifth tunnel failed the test criteria. Black holes remain a reality, most notably in Italy and Norway. Thankfully, such tunnels are not the rule. Tunnels such as Otzdorf in Austria or Markusberg in Luxembourg demonstrate the state of the art in tunnel safety. The M12 in Spain or Brynje in Croatia are also exemplary. As with 60% of the tunnels tested, they far exceed the minimum safety standards. The work of Eurotab in many cases has, in a very direct way, positive effects on the safety of the tested tunnels. Just to give an example, in Spain we tested the San Juan tunnel near Alicante in the year 2002. It was the worst tunnel in Europe with a rating very poor. The operator reacted immediately and invested 5 million euros. In 2005, this tunnel was rated good. So this means that the principle of Eurotap, with testing, assessing, bringing the news to the public, and then get the improvement really works. Eurotap creates competition in the field of road infrastructure. This is something totally new, which has not existed before. With our unique rating system, we are the only ones who are able to compare the different safety standards of different tunnels in Europe. The good ones are setting the benchmarks, and the bad ones have very good reasons to follow these benchmarks. Nevertheless, a lot more still needs to be done, for tunnel safety does not depend on the technical infrastructure alone. The level of safety equally depends on the people controlling tunnels and performing the rescue services as well as the motorists themselves. In the years to come, Eurotap will focus on tunnel staff training aiming to improve response times, which in a major emergency can help reduce damage and injuries. Another task is to raise motorists' awareness. 95% of road accidents are caused by human error. Adopting the right reactions could help prevent accidents in tunnels.
ADAC and its partner clubs have developed a number of useful tools. Travel information for motorists on the internet covering the most important European road tunnels, a driver training DVD, as well as an interactive computer game teaching how to behave correctly in tunnels can all help. We thank the EU for its support over the past three years. Eurotap and the efforts of the automobile clubs and ADAC will be carried on unconditionally. Eurotap will continue to reveal deficiencies and inform the public. Our aim is clear. We want safe tunnels all over Europe and we want them as soon as possible. We've started moving in the right direction. Now nations must act. But even today, motorists can drive through Europe's tunnels with more confidence than just a few years ago. In many cases, thanks to Eurotap.